Okay. Okay. Oh no. So that was the scene outside of Box Park's Box Park Wembley, uh, where that one uh, gentleman there, the blue do rag, was upset if he by getting kicked out or getting in. Who knows what the situation was? But he was definitely being aggressive, uh, a bit challenging to certain folks. And there he ran into the security there, whose name is Julius Francis, that larger gentleman there who delivered the one shot, which some people call no hitter quitters. Uh, he did take him down though. But what maybe he didn't know about Julius Francis is that he's a former heavyweight boxing champion who once faced Mike Tyson. He didn't win that fight, but he's apparently a boxing champion, a little bit older now, and now works security. It's one of those cases of he maybe don't want to run up on anyone and assume you can win that fight. But really fast, because Box Park, I thought this was something to do with boxing, since there's so many boxers and fighting happening. Actually, according to their website, it's the biggest food, culture, and social hub in London with local communities at its heart. This unique experience is based on Box Park's eat, drink, and play philosophy. So it's like this big entertainment events and shopping scenarios. So there's probably lots of families there, but this chaotic scene happens instead. So let's go to some more details, because the CEO of Box Park had to respond because his security guy just knocked someone out, looked like he was half dead. Let's go to some details, at least what he wrote on his LinkedIn in response to this. Woke up to a viral story about one of our security team, Julius Francis, is ex UK heavyweight boxing champion. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met and helps train young underprivileged kids boxing in his spare time. This is not one of those children. My understanding is that Julius and our security team spent 15 minutes stopping this man and his friends from abusing, spitting, and hitting our customers and staff. They carefully escorted him from the premises under constant provocation and violence. Finally, the person approached Julius in a confrontational manner and he defended himself. That's the question that we're gonna discuss, Maz. Acts of violence and abuse to any staff member should never be tolerated. How would you react if someone approached you violently? What would you do next if you were in my shoes? And he hashtags, I stand with Julius. So again, this guy's hands are potentially a lethal weapon. He's a former heavyweight boxer. Yes, he's older now. Maybe the gut is there that wasn't there before, but apparently them hands are still there. Gosh, you know, the first part that got me was after the friend got knocked out, then I think the friend, the yeah. I mean, the guy got knocked out. His friends were like, why'd you do that? It's like, <laughs> what do you want to do that? He's been, I mean, been watching him. He's been an a-hole for about <laughs> 20 minutes, man. Um, this is a real good lesson to anybody who gets upset anywhere. Um, if the security team is coming at you, first of all, usually security gets hired because they're good at martial arts or wrestling or boxing or killing people. I mean, you just, if you're gonna talk, you know, if you're gonna argue with somebody, argue with the cashier. Usually the cashier, a <laughs> little smaller, a little more scrawny, you know what I'm saying? And and here's my note to everybody out there. The number one move, you're upset. Can I speak to the manager? I would like to speak to the manager. Just get the manager. And if the manager still upsets you, I'm gonna write a letter to the headquarters. That's how you deal with it. You don't yell at it, but I thought it was the, I actually honestly didn't know who the, when I watched the video, I didn't know who the boxing champ was because there was another dude in a white t-shirt who That's was like- That's who I thought that? too. Yeah, the seven foot tall guy. And I'm like, God, why is this guy in the do-rag yelling at the seven foot guy? And I'm like, oh, my. I mean, that just shows you the level of irrationality that was going through this guy's head. He should have stopped when that seven foot dude showed up. And then this other guy knocked him out. And by the yeah. way, I, you know, the, the question, you might know the answer to this. I've seen quite often they say that boxers' hands are registered or they're lethal weapons or something like that. But what happens this is the question. This, this is the question. Once you've retired, 
if the box, if the fifth registration has run out and he hasn't re-registered them, I think he can knock them out. Maybe. So it looks like you're siding with Julius Francis here. He was he was justified at least in doing so. The guy did kind of square up a little bit, but I'm sure he's over it. The one last rule I have with this: whenever you see a fight or someone has get into a fight. The guys that are barking and yelling and ifing and jumping and flinching and kind of halfway punching, they're not ready to fight. The guys that are ready to fight are the ones that are quiet and put themselves in a good position to knock you TF out. Just saying. Yep. That's, that's always look for the quiet guy who's confident and not saying much. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't need mm-hmm. a bunch of punches. Just, just you know, the guy screaming will most likely end up on the ground.